Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, this one is now it's a dead board. Okay, a fresher. How we can check the motherboard in case if it is in dead condition? So, in cold test, what are the things we need to check and how we can check the uh, voltage and all? Voltage in the sense it's a path and how to identify the components level. So everything I showed in previous classes, right? So now in this class we can learn how we can check the voltage level sections. So what are the first voltage and next voltage and next sections? Those things for beginners especially for beginners I will tell you. See in case if you receive any dead condition motherboard even that part number also won't be there in that condition don't get afraid you need to have some patience and have confidence okay not over but little more hmm? see the first section what i told once you give the supply just i will explain next we will give the supply and we will check one by one once you give the supply first v in section we will check right v in section where it has come it will come to where charging ic section charging ic section in uh, in the sense before that clr will be there first mosfet second mosfet will be there okay first mosfet second mosfet and clr section if you are getting clr section voltage then where you have to go you have to go to where exactly completely you need to check the charging section but some freshers what they do the mistakes that i will tell you one by one okay generally after this clr directly they will go to 3 phi section mean 3 volt 5 volt section there they will check ldo is available or not <coughs> if ldo is available then they can't understand where is the exact problem because what they will think what they will be having in their mind once they get ldo voltages 3 volts and 5 volts then the board should be get on but it will be in dead condition what are the important point needs to be check and how we need to be check that i will explain today see as i told i will give the supply and first i will check the dc jack okay now what i am going to do see i am giving the supply and check the multimeter okay in this angle okay this is a plastic one no issues see i am going to give the supply okay now what voltage in dc what 20 volts we are getting so year to year supply is good next section first and second mosfet we have to turn it and we need to check but directly we come to the clr part and there we will check once clr voltage is having the voltage voltage then need not to check the first and second mosfet okay we can check the gate voltages but that is the second secondary thing generally we need to check the clr voltage see here is the battery clr where here is the battery fuse it's 4.6 this is the battery clr 4.6 it's a main clr see we are getting 20 point something voltage so it means our main section is okay are you sure is it okay okay just assume this is okay hmm? generally a technician can assume it's okay next as i told so we will check 3 5 volt section for what we are getting 3 5 ldo or not that we will check see first we need to disconnect the supply and then we turn it i mean we need to turn the motherboard because this this is the v in sorry 3 and 5 volt section this is the ic okay here what are the pin number for 3 volts and what are the pin number for 5 volts already we discussed pin number 3 is for 3 volts and pin number 
thirteen is for five volts and supply is for what? It's a twelve. Pin number twelve is the supply. First, we need to check the supply. The supply is available or not to this particular IC. Okay. See, I'm going to check the supply. Okay. You can see the voltage in multimeter. This is okay, right? Are you able to see? Yes, you can see. Now I am going to give the supply first and NAC for NAC what I told we need to check the input supply right see usually I already told you the trick hmm? as per that directly I am checking this is the pin number 12 having 20 volts see 20 volts right this IC input is ok Next, 5 volts and 3 volts, right? 5 volts and 3 volts. 3 volts is for pin number 1, 2, 3. 3. What are the voltage? 3.29. It means 3.3 LDO is good. So, next, 5 volt section. See, 5.019. So it means basic voltages are good. Means it's a VIN and 35 LDO are good. Then what are the voltage you are going to check? After this, the main headache will come, right? For a technician, generally. Hmm? So what section we need to check? See. The most important section is once you get the LDO, don't stop there itself. Before that, one more important section you need to check because once the CLR voltage will come, that directly pass through the, uh, I mean, pass to two major ICs. One is charging IC and other one is step down ICs. By seeing this, uh, I mean, what is that LDO? We can't consider this motherboard should uh, should get on. Because the main signal related voltage for I.O. What are the signal related voltage has to go. Those things we need to think. And then we can check. So the main thing is what are the important signal voltage. I already explained to you. The main thing is ACOK. Right. So we will go to the ACOK page. And we will check what the. AC OK pin number. Hmm. See, I am going to the page of power charger. See, charger here. The pin number is pin number is AC OK pin number is 5. And before that, we need to check AC detect pin number 6. Okay, these two pins we need to check must okay that is a must now here is the charging IC section what is the charging IC number <coughs> BQ24780S okay this is charging IC section what are the pin number we need to check pin number 6 for AC direct pin number 5 for AC ok okay we come to know that what are the pin okay from beginning See, here is the pin number 1. This is the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Yes, here 2 registers are there. 0, 2, 0, 1 size. 2 registers. There is a pin number 5. Right. So, pin number 6. Pin number 6 1, 2, 3, 4 6 Here it is The capacitor has connected here Ok So Pin number 6 What voltage should be there? It should be There should be 
20 voltage AC detect. Right? Right or wrong? It's a wrong. Okay? There also voltage divider will be there. Hmm? According to the AC detect, the AC OK voltage will generate. That also outsource input. Hmm? First, we will check pin number 5. What AC OK we are getting? See, now I will give the supply. Now I am going to check what pin number 5 and 6. See, this is AC OK signal. See the AC OK 0 0.542. Okay, this one has gone through the voltage divider section. See, here two resistors are there. I am checking in the register. There also we are getting 0 0.542. One side, upper side, it's a R2 actually, it's a ground. And here upper side, what voltage we are getting? 3.28 hmm? LDO voltage we are getting. As per the schematic LDO voltage we are getting in this particular R1 register. So R1 and R2 formula we already know. Right. What voltage it has to come? See the formula I will write down. Just a minute. Hmm. What is the formula? I will disconnect the supply and we will check the formula V out is equal to V in into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 this is the formula right here V in is 3.3 volts correct in the bracket R2 what is that R2 it's a 470k 470k R1 10k plus 470 kk we can divide it it's a 470 divided by 480 into 3.3 approximate so this one so this one 0 0.99 something so if you multiply it so it will come 3.2 right in the calculator if you do so 3.2 you will get but what voltage we are getting we are getting 0 0.5 volts here is the suspect point why we are getting this voltage but input we checked input 3.3 is ok right so R2 register ground also ok hmm? input and ground R1 input and R2 output I mean ground both are working now where will be the exact issue for this we need to check thoroughly the IC data sheet I already made a video for this you can check if you can understand more I mean if you want to understand this IC hmm? now we are getting 0 0.5 maybe this is the reason this board in dead condition that in the sense it's not turning on right how many times you tried also it will be in completely dead position okay now what we have to check we have to check AC detect pin number 6 AC detect that we will check now what are the pin numbers just a minute first I will find out here is a capacitor Right, see one, two, three, four, five, six. A capacitor has connected to pin number six. Okay, that one we will check what AC detect voltage we are getting. See. Connected the supply. Now we will check. This is the capacitor. Very carefully we need to check because AC supply is there. See 2.6 volts. 
2.59 or 2.6 volts now the question is what should be the ac ok sorry ac detect right i disconnected the supply now we will calculate what will be the ac detect now generally i will open the calci okay cancel now ac detect r1 see for ac detect we will check for ac det hmm? what is that r1 r2 v in okay r1 here ac detect r1 it's 200 plus 3.83 k hmm? we need to add it to just a minute 203.5 0.83 k okay r2 31.6 k v in it's usually 20 volts okay now v out is equal to v in 20 into what is that r2 which one 31.6 divided by 20383 plus 31.6 right so take the calci and calculate it 203 point 83 plus 31.6 is equal to 235.43 31.6 into 20 volts right so is equal to what will be the result now I am going to divided by 31.6 divided by 235.43 0. 0. 0.0 one three four two two into twenty into twenty so our calculation is correct two point six volts right we are getting AC detect but not AC okay see what we are getting we are supposed to get three point two volts what is this this is AC okay AC OK in the sense, what are the adapter voltage? Everything should be OK. This one we are getting, but here we are not getting. So guys, for fresher I am telling, this is most important thing to check AC OK. Maybe your register giving the problem. In this condition, see, this one is almost all okay with the wean section right in this condition just a trick i am giving you can disconnect the r2 because r1 see r1 and r2 if you do this formula you are getting 3.2 voltage right hmm? but input voltage is 3.2 here through the r1 you are getting 3.3 voltage after deleting you may get 3.2 volts right so here voltage divider is not required you can remove this r2 and check the result okay this is the hint i am giving what are the practical section you people have to do and show me thank you thank you very much